All right, so let's get into it. Hopefully, uh, the computer doesn't die on me here. Um, so as you can see, we're kind of stomping this guild out. Let's go see what our uh, war ranking is this time. Yeah, we dropped a lot. We lost last time. Wow, 311. There we go. Gotta work our way up again. Um, so this tower is gone. This tower, I'm probably gonna attack this tower and then uh, just attack anybody else from there. Uh, yeah, so let's just hit this guy and see what he's got. Uh, let's take a look here. So this this is a lot of damage coming out of these here. I think what I'm gonna do is run you here, or no, actually I'm gonna run you. We'll see who I can strip. Uh, well, actually I think I might just go with. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with this. And then this is a bit this is a little tricky here. Um I think I need to bring where is we'll bring you. I need to bring someone with a lot of damage. And then we'll bring um, like a healer. Where is here we are? Okay, I think this is good. Um, these two are gonna bait these three here. Um, yeah, I think, and then also the immunity is gonna make it so that you fiend can S two uh, without dying immediately. <laughs> Okay, so now down here, I think I'm actually just going to go to Nebria. Um, someone here in the front. Does this seem like a good idea? This seems a really bad idea. I kind of like this. I think I'm. I think I like this more though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this. Let's see where we are here. Okay, so in this scenario, what I'm going to do is S3 with you. Hopefully, I get outsped by the uh, maid. Come on, come on, come on, fun. Okay, cool. So now, what this means is I can S2 and probably clear one of these buffs off of somebody. Okay. So basically, this means I can S3 uh, Charlotte here. Uh, I'm gonna hit you, try to whittle her down a little bit here. Comes the S3. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit you with this. Let's see if I can actually kill Little Queen Charlotte with this. I think I should be able to, but you never know. Okay, okay. Nice. 20k. Uh, so I'm just gonna start working on her, and then we'll deal with, um, with him with an S3 later once the, the uh, revive buff is cleared itself. 
Let's hit you with this. Wow, I have like 94% crit. Okay, we need a stun lock, we need a um, provoke locker just to make this a little easier. Oh, this is bad. Um, I think she has it next turn. And I missed another crit. That's two crits in a row. Uh, that's like a six times six. That's like a third of a percentage of a chance to happen. So out of, not even 100%. Third of a percentage. Third of a one hundredth. It's like three out of a thousand for that to happen. It happens all the time. Um, yeah, her thing is up, which is pretty bad. Uh, I need to stun. I need to provoke her here. Uh, let's try. Oh my gosh! Please just die. Thank you, dude. Uh, this is bad. Um, he can actually kill me here, so... Oh, damn, this is pretty annoying. Um... Just hit him with this and hopefully he doesn't kill me. Oh my god. Uh, I think I might just pause this and come back later. Um... Because I think I can whittle him down, but um, Sigurd Scythe is an irritant, so we'll see where this goes. I'll uh, pause this and come back. Yeah, so after Euphine doesn't crit uh, anybody, you know, even though she's got 90 something, uh, these two idiots won't stop critting him, even though they've both got like, like I think Basar has like sub 20, sub 30, and she's got like 41%, and they won't stop critting him, so. Uh, before they end up killing themselves, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave because this is just this is just ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. Um, so let's just move on to the next one. Um, nobody has any debuffs. So I think mainly I just want to um, get rid of uh, the skill nullifier here. I'm just going to hit this though. Um, let's hit this off of somebody. I'm going to hit this off of her just because, of course. And let's him double. Well, I didn't actually double. So, theoretically, um, Charles should just focus um, Ruel here, considering um, she's the only one that doesn't fire. Okay. So, the uh, that stuff is all gone, so let's just hit him with this. Again, I'm not going to get debuffed by anything, um, it's just that I'd like the pushback at least. Uh, that, that Charles has very low uh, effect resistance, so let's see if I can just hit him with a sleep. Try this. Okay, I got the sleep. That's, the, that's like the only thing I need there. And just as I said, the only thing I didn't want was her getting um, hit with that, and what happened? She just got hit with a an Elbrus off of her. Imagine having like an Elbrus and wasting it on CC. Or imagine being so good at the game you have two Elbruses, that you have one on CC and Charles. I don't think he has it on Charles because Charles is not countered for shit. Which I think is a, that's just a, a programmer move, isn't it? Like. Let's just run. Let's just run the. Uh, let's just run it on her. Why not? Uh, let's do. I'm just gonna hit. I think he has counter set, so I think this is bad. But I'm gonna hit him anyway. Again. So I guess she has it, and he doesn't have shit. I don't know what's going on there. 
Uh, he's gonna hit her. Okay. Oh, he's got Portrait of the Saviors. Again, that's just like a... That's a pro strat for all of you guys out there who don't, um... We just don't conform, okay? Like... You don't run around doing what everybody else does. You run Portrait on Charles, even though you're not gonna hit anything with it. And you're just, you're just gonna die, basically. Uh, there, so there's that. Uh, let's do... Let's hit you. Oh my gosh, dude, that's three in a row already! I don't even know why I bother. Uh, here comes her, which is fine. Um, let's do, again, let's do this. She's probably gonna get hit by uh, CC, because the CC has a better counter rate than Charles, even. Yep. I think she's like, I don't even know. I, th I don't think she's missed a single counter. Uh, so I think I'm gonna, I think she's gonna die from this, which is fine, because I can just revive her. Yeah. Okay. It's like, this is supposed to be an easy team, but like, <laughs> I keep getting just like the worst RNG. Like, this is, this is what irritates you, right? It's like, it's not like, oh, I'm fighting against a hard team and I'm just gonna rage quit or whatever. No, it's, it's usually just fighting against teams you should be winning and then RNG just wins everything for them. So let's just heal you up. Uh, let's burn this and S3. Now, I'm not gonna get the damage. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was my fault entirely. I'm not gonna get the damage off of it, but at least I'm gonna get the, um, hopefully the defense break and the sleep, so that's good. Um, so next thing I wanna do is focus on you. Come on, come on. Finally, oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna hit her with the S1 just to see if I can reapply the stun. Ugh. Do you see that? How much HP does she have? 116. That's a lack of molas. I only have molas in her S3, and it's just up to the cooldown. Now, unfortunately, it's just her. She doesn't have enough damage to really do anything. Let's just hit her. Uh, let's do... Let's just hit her with this. I could use healing, or I could use... Um, that. Uh, Attica Scepter is actually ridiculous on... on regular Tenebria, because... While her S1 is useful, her S looping her S3 into her uh, into her S2 constantly is it's just ridiculous. It's like it's so it's so fun. Basically, her whole kit is available like at any time, not 100%, but most of the time. It's pretty fun. Uh, so let's just heal you. I don't want to wake her up is the thing because I want to hit her with the S with the uh, S1 from here, or we just miss it, I guess. Do this, please bring Tenebria. Uh, Tenebria doesn't have a thing, let's just sleep her. And that's that. Right, so, despite some awful RNG and like some huge, just like, we're talking cosmic brain moves from the sky. <sighs> Could you imagine that? Like, being more obsessed with like just annoying somebody than actually doing anything significant? Like, that's, that's just. Just boggles my mind. Uh, so let's get into let's see what we're going with here. Uh, I think down here I'm gonna go with you here. Go with uh, you uh, in here somewhere. Let's put you here. Let's put you there. And let's put uh, where is Eufine? Let's put Eufine in here. Oh, Eufine just died. That's funny. Um, uh, what if we do Charles instead? Charles in charge. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, the question is either Charles, uh, a little bit. I, I took some gear off of her, so she's not like quite one shot ready. Um, she's missing a boot, which I have yet to give her back. Um, I think I'm gonna go this here, and yeah, it looks like fun. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, the problem is down here. 
Actually, I might just go like CC or yeah, uh, not CC SSB here. Um, we'll go with this and see where that gets us on that one on that front. Um, but down here. We'll see how this goes. It's it's a question of SSB of uh, Charles or Alencia. I think I'm just gonna go with Alencia just because she has the defense buff and it's a better chance we'll survive. Though Charles could just like one shot her because the thing is if I do this it's like gonna take some time to get through to SSB. Um, Charles can just has a ability to just S1 and S2 and then probably kill her. But I think I'm gonna just go with this. This feels a lot safer. Uh, the only thing I, the only problem I foresee here is like her getting killed by like all the AOE and constant nonsense coming from this, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, here it doesn't look too bad. I think she can like sleep him. It's just that uh, this guy here hitting me with his S uh, his S three is gonna blind everybody, which is gonna suck. But uh, we'll just go in there. We already tied on the first one, so basically everything after that's irrelevant. Okay, okay, so she's first. Very good. Um, let's see if we can put any of them to sleep. Okay, we didn't put anybody to sleep, and we got hit with that. Uh, so I think this is good because I think I'm just gonna hit him with the S3. Um, Ruel's gonna hit her, hit uh, this guy up here with the S1. Okay, he didn't have, she didn't have to do that at all. Uh, let's see if I can... Hold on one second. Okay. Let's go with... So, the one thing I didn't want happening happened. So, I think what's going to happen here... I really I really need to cleanse this, which is annoying. Uh, I'm also playing something on my phone, and apparently I'm out of space, which is... beyond infuriating. I'm already annoyed as it is. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. At this point, you just want to kill Vildred as fast as possible because it's like he can, he can sneak up on you with uh, multiple S3s and like revives and all that stuff. So it's like let's just not deal with it. This is also a very squishy, um, very squishy. Seeing things like that happen. Um, she didn't have any reason to happen, it just they, they just happen. See if I can do anything to her. She's got a very low effectiveness. Or effective resistance. Counter miss. Uh, but generally that should be fine, because she's just gonna hit um Rollo there. See what I mean? Like she just loops her S3. Now at that at that point I used all three and then the S1 and did it warm back, which is fine, but still it's like it's amazing. Uh, I don't know who to hit here. I think I'm just gonna heal you just because she's so low. Um, I'm just gonna hit you because her. I can taunt her, and it's basically the same thing as the sleep anyway. Let's hit everybody with this. Uh, so basically, it's over at this point. Um, so, where's the thing? One second. Okay, let's see. Where where was I? Um, I think I'm just gonna yeah, just let's just kill Ruel just because I don't want to worry about her anymore. It's just she's gone. Okay, 
So as you can see here, um, if you have, if you don't have Tenebria belt, like it's it's just, I really recommend it because she she can like she has an attack buff on her S three, and she can for two turns right, and then she can like with Etika Scepter she can basically S three again with the with the Soul Burn while the attack buff is up. Not always, mind you, but like. Consistently enough to be like a huge problem. I think if you're gonna run her, I think either Etika Scepter or um, what's the other one? Um, Ayala's is pretty good just because she has so much debuffs. Like having her own ability to strip and go into those debuffs is, is, is a good thing. That's that's pretty funny. Uh, my my Alencia is actually faster than my. Uh, my what's her name there? Um, it's just S three, I guess. Put up the defense buff. Uh, so this is where it gets kind of sketchy. Um, I need to survive these three AOEs, or let's see if I can just kill her. I doubt it, but let's find out. Wow, dude! Oh I'm just gonna like. You guys can all see this. I, I don't even. I don't even need to talk right now, dude. <sighs> Welcome to um, No Mola. Working as intended, really. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know why I'm playing this game anymore, man. <sighs> that was just disgusting. Uh, let's just hit her with this. Come on, please. Oh my gosh, dude. Everything 
comes down to blood. ここに誓いと剣を掲げよう。誓いの剣よ。先ほどです。覚悟。まずくなる。花の剣よ。姫の登場だよ人間ああつまらないだから死に終わりなきわくるよ苦しみ続けるといいわいつでもあなたの人だ見逃してあげたならこの身の程知らず痛いでしょう飛ぶなら翼を走るなら足をちぎってあげる Bring it on. Kill it! Kill it! 
耐えてる暇はねえぞ今日もいいことがあるって言ってました四季の精霊たちはウエルに一筋の光よ It's too late to back out now. <laughs> Run before it's too late. This is what you get for ruining my vacation. <laughs> Let's start with something light. I'll show you what I've got. Well, shall we go back to the beach? <laughs> <laughs>